Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. February has been a phenomenal month for video games and March is gearing up to be just as epic. There's something for everyone from wrestling to simulation racing to role playing shenanigans to whatever this is. March is packed with great games that want your money. And as is the norm, I found a couple of free games for you to grab too. So let's do this. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Any Borderlands fans in the house? Back in 2013, a piece of DLC for Borderlands 2 released, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, a tabletop RPG inspired take on Borderlands storytelling. That DLC was loved and now that idea has its very own full length game, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. The character creation system lets us build a starting class and mould it how we want around our playstyle. Just like a real tabletop RPG, Wonderland gives us stats for strength, intelligence and wisdom, amongst other to hopefully make the game more replayable as you pick a different character and go through the story again. At its core, it's all about loot. Melee combat, pistols, SMGs, ARs, shotguns, snipers, heavy weapons. The full arsenal is here and if the main Borderlands games have taught us anything, the variety of weapon manufacturers and sheer randomness of weapons will keep the game feeling fresh for weeks. If you have PS Plus, you can play the original DLC right now as you wait for Wonderlands to drop on March 25th on PS4, PS5, Xbox, Box and PC. Next, the return of the Graps. WWE is back. WWE 2K22, to be precise. The series took a year off because the iteration we had two years ago was, was not good. Was not good at all. A new VFX engine has been built to make the game feel more like the TV show. New camera angles and lighting a smaller ring and a change to inputs. A simplified move system is here to allow even the newest of players to smash out moves like a pro, as well as adding unlimited reversals and breakers to keep even the most one-sided matches from being impossible to come back from. The campaign known as My Rise gives us two stories to progress through, one for male, one for female. My GM mode allows us to become the general manager of a brand and make the decisions needed to get viewing figures up, booking matches, controlling camera angles at live events and orchestrating great storylines or just hit people with a chair if that's more your thing wwe 2k22 releases on march 11th on playstation xbox and pc have you ever seen Ghostwire Tokyo, a supernatural action adventure thriller with elements of horror? Set in first person, we use a blend of martial arts and spellbinding to face off with demon-like creatures. Randomly, Tokyo is deserted. Almost everyone has gone missing in an event known as The Vanishing. We wake up with a voice in our head and new powers to harness. Our job is to save the city using detective skills and ethereal weaving, which is channeling elements at will, fire, wind, water. All of this whilst being possessed by a being of immense power. Ghostwire Tokyo is an exclusive for PlayStation, which is technically owned by Microsoft from before they bought Bethesda. On March 25th, you can try this on PC and PS5 with it coming to Xbox in about a year. Remember when GTA 5 first launched in 2013? Well, it's launching all over again on a third console generation. This month, GTA 5 comes to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. We are going back to relive the criminal life of Michael, Franklin and Trevor. As you'd expect, graphical upgrades are guaranteed with 4K available, 60 frames per second, and improved textures and draw distances. Oh, and HDR and ray tracing if that's your jam. On PS5, we have haptic feedback on your controller is confirmed too. And here's a thing you should no, it's possible to transfer your PS4 and Xbox One saves over to the next gen, but it's a one-time thing, suggesting we can't go back and forth between console generations. There's a free portion to the re-release of GTA 5, so let's move on to our usual thing of free stuff. GTA Online is also returning, and if you have a PS5, you should know that it's officially a free game as long as you download it within the first three months it drops, March, April and May. There's no news yet about Xbox having free access, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it on Game Pass very soon. If you've never played GTA Online, you'll be given a huge chunk of money and access to the new mechanic Career Builder, designed to help new players immediately catch up with people who've played for years, buying a business right away as soon as you step off the plane, it's guaranteed. So if you want to do it all over again, in GTA 5 Remastered or jump into the updated GTA Online for free on PS5, keep March 15th in your mind and hope it doesn't get delayed again. Okay, another free game. This is on PS5 too. Bunny Raiders. Okay, I know it doesn't look groundbreaking, but give me a minute. Bunny Raiders is a totally free-to-play game out right now. 
It's a twin stick shooter, so your left thumb moves your character whilst your right thumb aims and shoots. Bunny Raiders offers solo, couch co-op and online raiding for up to four players. The premise is to save fellow animals and destroy an end boss and all his henchmen without dying. As soon as the whole squad goes down, it'll be back to the start you go. Any trophy hunters here? There's a super easy platinum trophy to get in Bunny Raiders 2. It'll take you like an hour. If you'd like to try it, it's out right now on PS5 with other systems, a possibility in 2022. As we're talking about free stuff, you should be aware of a five hour free trial for Cyberpunk 2077. The open world shooter has had a soft re-release since all the issues over a year ago, which we don't talk about. A new next gen version is available on PS5 and Xbox Series X, and the full game itself is at the crazy low price of $25, which is 20 quid over here in the UK until March the 2nd. If the game functions how it should, I definitely think the five hour trial is worth your time. At the very least, there is a lot to do in cyberpunk. And a quick update on a free game I told you about last month, Rumbleverse. Rumbleverse was ready for early access in February, but only days before its launch it was pulled. Pre-order money was returned and a new release date was never added, it's just pending right now. The team have gone back to online tests and hope to have the game ready soon. I'll keep you updated on the free to play, 40 player, wrestling based battle royale. Back to full price games now and Babylon's Fall. This has me interested due to who makes it. Platinum Games, the creators of Nier Automata, Bayonetta and Metal Gear Revengeance. The combat in those three games is exquisite. So it's safe to say Babylon's Fall should be the same. Online with friends, we team up and we are asked to scale a tower and defeat all enemies. A cooperative hack and slash, constantly finding loot to increase abilities and fighting styles. There's going to be tons of free upgrades dropping regularly after the release of Babylon's Fall, so it could be something special. Match the third on PS4, PS5 and PC. On March 4th, Gran Turismo returns. It's the 8th game in the series and the 13th release, so obviously it's called Gran Turismo 7. Let's put all our cards on the table right away. Gran Turismo is not an easy game to pick up and play. It has almost zero arcade aspects to it. GT7 is a pure simulation game. It's for those who want the closest thing to realism they can get. Everything from the correct tyre choice to match the weather to the sound of the engine itself is perfectly recreated. Over 400 real life and concept cars are available to drive, including 60 brands you'll recognise. 34 tracks have been lovingly recreated with dynamic weather systems for each country and time zone. The most interesting aspect for me is buying a used vehicle to win races and then using that money to reinvest in better cars. There's cups for specific vehicle types, there's cups for rear and front wheel drive. The minutiae of realistic racing is Gran Turismo 7. This is a PlayStation exclusive which drops on March 4th on PS5 and PS4. And finally, Shadow Warrior 3. I hope this isn't the first time you are hearing of Shadow Warrior. A first person shooter which doesn't try to be more than that. A fun and gruesome shooter that's like Duke Nukem crossed with Doom. Playing as Lo Wang, yep that's his name, we use a crazy large arsenal of firearms and swords to track down an ancient dragon which was accidentally awoken. It doesn't take itself very seriously, which really adds to the amusement of adult humour spread throughout. If this is your jam, look out for it on March 1st. It's a previous gen title on PS4, Xbox One and P to the C. So there we have it, 10 games that want your time over March. There's tons more, but those are the 10 I chose. If you're still here, you have my thanks. And here's a question too. If you could play only one game for the rest of your life, what would you choose and why? I'll be in the comments. I'm Adam, you're awesome. See ya!